Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kim. It's Ghost. It's Monday. It's the day after the Oscars. Have you seen the Oscars or the highlights? Will Smith, what he did to Kevin Hart on stage. <laughs> Fantastic. He's gone up in my estimation, defending his wife. Good for him. I've met Will Smith. He's a big bloke. He's about 6'3", hands like shovels. Wouldn't have wanted been on the other end of that fist. Anyway, going to head up to HMV. It's, I think there's five that I'm after today. One's a TV show, four movies, and I've got some pickups during the week as well to show you. So going to crack on got a lot going on in my life at the moment so i'm going to crack on with that go and grab a coffee from somewhere you know the line and then i'll show you everything that gets uh, released in hmv and take you back and show you what i picked up i'll see you all in a little bit so here we go in town now in mcdonald's top of churchill square 8 30 in the morning looks like the tide's gone out of my coffee though a bit short change there but never mind nice and quiet here not a soul around but now the shops are open 9 a.m Shutters are up. Going to pop into HMV, see what the latest releases are. It's quite a long list of films out today and quite a few that I'm after as well. Let's go. So here we go. And we're going to mix things up today. We're going to start with the 4K releases. And the first one is The Babadook from Second Sight. It's from 2014. It's got a runtime of 94 minutes, rated a 15 certificate, written and directed by Jennifer Kent. Yours for £24.99. Next is a film directed by Paul Verhoeven. It is, of course, Robocop Limited Edition from Arrow from 1987. One movie, three cuts, 103 minutes, an 18 certificate, and yours for $34.99. This one comes with a book, art cards, and a poster. Next, we have the limited edition release of The Hills Have Eyes from Wes Craven. It's from 1977, Arrow release. 90 minutes, this one, and it's rated an 18 certificate. This one comes with a book, art cards, and a poster. Can't tell you how much because the price wasn't on it. And we have another Arrow release. This one is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein from 1994. 123 minutes. This one carries a 15 certificate. Directed by Sir Kenneth Branagh and yours for $21.99. Next we have The Green Mile on 4K from 1999. This one's from Warner Brothers. 188 minutes. Carries an 18 certificate and stars Tom Hanks and David Morse. Fantastic film. Yours for $19.99. So that was all the 4Ks that HMV had today. So we're going to look at the regular Blu-rays now and we're back in the arrow at Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. This is a remastered edition. It stars Sir Kenneth Branagh, Robert De Niro, Helena Bonham Carter, Tom Hulse and Aidan Quinn. Yours for $17.99. I'm going to have to upgrade my copy, I think, and get this one today. In the BFI section now, and we have a drama called Shoot the Messenger from 2006. 90 minutes, this one, starring David Oyelowo, and it's about a teacher who's trying to engage with his students. Rated a 15 certificate and yours for £14.99. Next, we have O. Henry's Full House from Signal One Entertainment. It's from 1952, 118 minutes. This film has almost as many directors as it does stars. Stars Marilyn Monroe, and it's yours for £14.99. Next is a Signal One Entertainment release of Three Coins in a Fountain from 1954. 102 minutes, this one, starring Clifton Webb and Dorothy McGuire. Yours for $14.99. I'm going to have to go back and pick this one up myself. I forgot to pick it up today. Over in the horror section now, and we have a Pete Walker-directed film, House of the Long Shadows. This is from 1983. Pete's last film is 102 minutes, rated a 15 certificate, has a great cash, got Vincent Price, Christopher Lee and Peter Cushion, yours for just $10.99. What a bargain. Next is Lake Mungo, a second sight release from 2008. It's 87 minutes and rated a 15 certificate, written and directed by Joel Anderson. And I believe this was a special edition at one point, but this is just a standard release, $17.99. Staying in a horror section, and we have Virgin Witch. This is a screenbound pictures release from 1972, 89 minutes. This is a standard edition. I believe there was a special edition came out a week or so ago. This one is 12.99 and rated an 18 certificate. Over in the world cinema section now, and we have the film Lamb. This is from Mubai Films. It's from 2021, 106 minutes. And it's about a childless couple that find a newborn on their land, and they have a lot of joy but ultimately it destroys them. Yours for $14.99. And finally, we're in the anime section, and it's the last one to show you today. It's the limited edition digibook of Attack on Titan, the final season. Ran from 2020 through to 2021, four seasons, 400 minutes, and yours for £64.99. Comes with a 15 certificate. Hey, 
everybody, welcome back. Six titles to show you today. One of the TV shows I was going to pick up has been pushed back, so we're going to crack on with these because there's quite a few to get through. The first film to show you, which came out last Monday, is Petite Maman. This is a French film, and it's about a family coming to terms with the loss of a relative. It follows a little girl called Nelly, who travels with her parents to her grandmother's house. The grandmother has just passed away, and they're there to clear out the house of her belongings. Nelly's mother, Marion, played by Nina Maurice, isn't coping very well with the loss of her mother, and she just ups and disappears during the night without telling anybody where she's going. Nelly, the little girl, finds a friend in the woods the very next day, and the little girl is roughly her own age, but she's not quite what she seems. This is very similar to the Studio Ghibli film Whispers of the Heart. This is subtitled, being a French film, but don't let that put you off. It's quite a short film, coming in at 73 minutes, and that includes the credits. Let's open this up, take a look inside. So it's the same artwork on the slip as it is on the Blu-ray. There's artwork on the disc. There's art cards. And there is inner artwork. So that was Petite Maman. Next is an upgrade for me. It's from Arrow Films and it is, of course, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein from 1994, based on a book written in 1818. Very good book, I highly recommend giving that a go. For me, this is probably the closest to the book the film has got so far. Directed and starring Sir Kenneth Branagh as Victor Frankenstein himself. Robert De Niro is his monster. Helena Bonham Carter is Frankenstein's ill-fated fiance Elizabeth. You've also got Tom Hulse, Ian Holm, John Cleese, Aidan Quinn, Richard Byers, and Hugh Bonneville. So it's got a great cast in this one. Music's provided by Patrick Doyle, whose body of work includes Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And the latest Steph on the Nile movie as well, which also was directed by Sir Kenneth Branagh. I'm sure you all know the story of Frankenstein, so I'm not going to bother to explain it all. This has got a runtime of 123 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So that newly commissioned artwork is carried onto the disc. There's a 36-page booklet and reversible cover art. So that was Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I think I'm going to stick with this artwork. Next title to show you is House of Long Shadows from 1983, a horror comedy from the director Pete Walker, who was born right here in Brighton. He's still going strong, he's 82 now. And this was the last film that Pete made. He's gone on now to restore cinemas, so good for him. Film stars Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, Peter Cushion, and John Carradine. That's Kill Bill's dad, old snake charmer himself. Film follows Kenneth McGee, played by Desi Arnaz Jr., who takes on a bet that he can write a story as good as Wuthering Heights within a 24-hour period. And to do so, he decides to cut himself off from all distractions and write it in an isolated manner in Wells. However, he isn't alone, and when he gets there, the night becomes very eventful, taking one strange turn after another. Now, screenplay is by Michael Armstrong, whose credits include the TV show Professionals and Shoestring, which starred Trevor Eve. He was going to be in a TV show I was going to pick up, but, you yeah. know... It wasn't out today, but it's a circle of life, people. They're all connected. It's got a runtime of 102 minutes. Let's take a look inside. There is artwork on a disc and a double sided poster. So that was House of the Long Shadows. Next film to show you is Lake Mungo. I don't know if you can see that with glare, but it's a second sight release in 2008, written and directed by Joel Anderson, the man who made just one film and then just dis disappeared. He doesn't do interviews or appearances, apparently. It's very strange. Anyway, this is a psychological horror with found footage. Good old found footage. Story about a girl called Alice Palmer, played by Thalia Zucker, who drowns at the age of 16, and her brother Matthew, played by Martin Sharp, fakes ghostly sightings that he catches on camera which he's actually set up around the property in an attempt to have his sister's body exhumed to help his mother get closure but then things take a strange turn as you would expect with a film like this the film is set in australia it's got a runtime of 87 minutes let's take a look inside inside you have artwork on the disc so that was lake mungo Next is volume one of the Looney Tunes collection. Now, if you remember, a couple of weeks ago, I found the American import of volume two in a charity shop for a couple of pounds, so I had to order in the other two volumes, like one and three. First one here is from the States. It features the cartoons from 1930 through to 1969. Got Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Elmer Thud, Foghorn Leghorn, Roadrun, all the classic cartoon characters. Interesting, on the back of volume two, it says that it's for adult collectors only, not suitable for children, so it looks like there are no cut to the original broadcast in these releases. Didn't do me any harm watching them growing up, but uh, there you go. 
Runtime on this volume is 182 minutes. Let's have a quick look inside this one. So just one disc with this set and it's got 25 shorts on this and six featurettes in the special editions. So that was Looney Tunes Showcase Volume 1. And to go with those two volumes there, I had to order in the last one. And this one is a German import. Again, it features Warner Brothers cartoon characters. And again, it's from 1930 through to 1969. This is said to be the last volume they're going to release because the second one had poor sales. I believe there's 50 Looney Tunes shorts on here with a runtime of 344 minutes. It's good to have all these classic cartoons uncut because they're probably never, ever going to see the light of day on any streaming service. Let's open this up, take a look inside. Well, inside there is artwork on the two discs. There is no reversible artwork, so you'll have to put up if you're going to buy it with that logo there. So that is the Looney Tunes Platinum Edition Volume 3. So that was it. Have you seen any of those or do you plan to pick any of them up or just want to leave a comment Then do so down below and I will read every single one and try to get back to you if I have the time. Give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel and subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. Why wouldn't you? And on that note, all that's left to say is thank you so much for choosing my channel today and watching my video. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.